So class, in the interval of 1 to 2, under the curve of x, what is the area? Anyone? Anyone? Mr. Hurley. Mm. Um, I, I didn't get the answer. You didn't get the answer? No. That's what you're telling me. That's what I'm telling you. You didn't get the answer? Nope. Hmm. Well, why don't you just try, Brian? Why don't you just dig deep, think a little bit, look at your notes there, and try to give me an answer? I, um, I don't know. Brian, I understand that you don't know. But I'm just asking you to try. Just take a shot at it. Take another shot. Take another shot? You want me to take another shot at, at this? No, you want me to? Calm down a little bit here. This is, this is a... I'm tired of this. I'm fucking tired of you treating me like a moron every fucking day. Every day I come in here, I sit there, you make me these miserable, pointless problems I don't want to do. Yeah. Look at these. I don't know what this is. I don't care. Yeah, but, but Brian, a, you can't be exploding like this. Now, now go back and sit in your room. No! I am tired of your treating me like a fucking retard every day! Brian, please, just try. Well, I guess I will give it a try. f of x is negative 4. Yes. That means that a would equal 0 naturally to the 0 property. Yes. That means that naturally 6, negative 6 is the answer to b, due to the order of integration. He's got it. He did it. Four. He's a jolly fellow. He's a jolly fellow. Um, I just don't, I don't know the answer. You don't know? No. And you won't try? What's the point of trying? If f of x is negative 4, then a is 0 due to the 0 property, and b is negative 6 due to the order of integration. Okay. Open your textbooks to page 600. Do problems 1 through 1,000. Show your work. <laughs>